Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is a Taurus reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. Thank you everyone for watching. So I've done a pre-shuffle already so we can jump straight in. So I'll start with the messages here to outline this reading. We have reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. And we have deception, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Right, so that's reconciliation, deception and love yourself first. So, I'm going to get the tarot and tap into the energies surrounding this situation. Let's see how it pertains to these messages here. Let's see what spirit wants you to know. I'll do a free card spread. And clarify, as usual. So, uh, do remember that this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. So, uh, take the messages that apply to you, that resonates with you, and leave what doesn't. The energies can be vice versa in these readings. So, you have to flip the roles as need be. Fit yourself in this reading where you see fit. Use your discernment here. The messages may apply to you, you may apply to someone else. So, uh, yeah, you have to use your discernment in these readings. But I'm grateful for your support. And I'd like to say a big thank you. Right. So, I've laid out the cards here. And, uh, yeah, it does show someone rushing in here. Knight of Swords. Someone wants to open up communication. Someone is serious about taking action towards you during this time. Yeah. This is someone from your past and they are serious about reconciling with you. No, it's not no joke. Knight of Swords. This person is not playing. They are actually serious about this reconciliation. During this time, if you haven't heard from them yet, it's about you met you're about to. It's a matter of time. It looks like this person's ready to take action. It doesn't look like um you're really excited about this reconciliation with this past person here. We've got the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I, I don't feel like uh, you're really excited about this reconciliation here. This may be someone that, you know, you rather stayed in the past, you know. I mean, this looks like an ex and they're an ex for a reason. So uh, I feel like you're trying to leave this person in the past here. But, um... They're coming back. They want to come back. Stressing them out. Nine of Swords. This person thinks about you all the time. It's worse at night. So we've got two of Wands here. Yeah, this person, they're making a return. They are making a return. Um, Maybe you're being tested here. There's a reason for this situation. There must be a reason for this situation. Because I can see that you're done. We've got a ten of swords here. This is... Tens mean ending in tarot. I mean... I feel like for you, you're, you're done with this situation. With this person here. I mean, I feel like uh, there was betrayal in this situation. With this person, Ten of Swords. This is why you're not excited to feel to to reconcile with this person. This is someone that may have stabbed you in the back. You felt like they stabbed you in the back, you know. And then what's worse? To make it worse, I feel like <sighs> there's closure issues here. Not only did they stab you in the back, but they really. They didn't do anything to help heal the situation either. We've got the world in reverse. So this cycle 
has closure issues. It hasn't closed out properly. Maybe you had to find peace on your own and heal yourself. This person left you for dead. They backstabbed you and then left you for dead. They didn't do anything to help you heal or to heal the situation. For some of you, this person may have found a rebound and run off with a rebound instead. We've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. So I can see this person, they didn't have your back. This person didn't have your back. Yeah, they were stabbing you in your back. Yeah, I feel like um, I'm, I'm getting that. Whatever situation they left you for didn't work out either. This is what it is. We've got the four of wands in reverse. There's a living situation here that's not working out. Maybe this person is living with someone and there's issues in the home. Four of wands is in reverse. So this is this is not a happy home. Maybe for some of you, you used to live with this person and they want to come back home. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. I don't know, it looks like someone is on the verge of being kicked out here. Maybe you kicked this person out for some of you, but this person coming back, they may be on the verge of getting kicked out of where they are. And this is why they want to come back to you, make a return back to you. There's a lot of instability here going on around this person. Seven of Wands as well as in reverse. I feel like this person is going through some challenges. They're going through some serious challenges here. It's a challenging situation for this person. I'm getting... I'm getting that this person has nowhere to run. I'm hearing they have nowhere to run. I'm running out of options. This person's running out of options here. Yeah. This is why, because two of wands in reverse, this person, but this person sees you as a safe option. This is why they're coming back to you. They see you as a safe option. They they don't have much they don't have much options, I feel. I feel like when it comes to you, you are the most trustworthy person that this person has in their life. I feel like you you you're trustworthy. You're loving, you're trustworthy, yeah. If this person has options, I feel like out of their options, you are the most trustworthy option. This is why they feel, they will feel safer to come back to you here. It's like you're a safe option here. Trustworthy. If someone needs someone that they can trust, they don't have much options here. It's like, um, yeah, this is a challenging situation because this person here, like I said, I mean, there's, a, there's, there's instability here in this situation. Four of Wands. This person could be homeless here. They could be on the verge of being kicked out of where they live or something. It's a challenging situation and they've got no one to turn to, I feel. Yeah. And you're a safe option. This is what it is. This person needs help. This is why they're coming back to you. But you're guarded, Nine of Pentacles. This is why they want to come back to you. Nine of Pentacles energy. You have this Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah, so this represents, you know, stability, abundance. This person sees you as stability. See, this is why, this is why they're all messed up about this situation. Nine of Swords. This is why they're stressed because... This person knows that they've done you dirty. This is the thing, and now they need your help. After they left you, you know, down and out, 
left you to, you know, pick up the pieces and mend your broken heart. Now, they need you. I feel like this person needs you. More than they want you. Yeah. This person has got nowhere to go. I'm getting that strongly. That this is someone that needs help. Yeah, it leads me to this. We've got deception. Someone's wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. You may be getting tested here with this situation. To see how you're going to handle this person this time round. Yeah, because uh, this person, they're still deceptive. If they were deceptive before, they're still deceptive now. They may be rushing in here, but they're not going to tell you what's really going on with them. They're going to keep a lot hidden once again. Because this person's selfish. They're only looking out for themselves right about now. Yeah. I feel like they... The walls are closing in. I, I, I'm getting the walls are closing in. I feel like this is the type of person. There's the, they're very unstable and they create. I don't know. This this person carries a very negative vibration about them, and wherever whatever relationships they get into, it just doesn't last. You know. And maybe it's all getting on top now. This person's running out of options. People don't want them. They're getting kicked out. Left, right and centre. Coming back to you. Oh, you've got to be careful of this energy here. Yeah, you may be being tested here. You've got to keep your boundaries up, it looks like. Yeah, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, self-respect. If you've got boundaries up with this person, I feel like you should keep them up. We've got the seven of ones in reverse. This person, yeah, they want to compromise with you, but I feel like you've been there, done that, got the t-shirt when it comes to this person here. You you know what they're about, you know? And then it looks like they don't have good intentions for you. This person is looking out for themselves here. They could be on the run. They need somewhere to go. They don't have much stability in their life. They don't have no one to turn to. Yeah. They're a mess. Karma. Yeah, this is karma. Let me pull some more cards. Uh, get some more insight before I close out this reading. Let's see what our spirit wants us to know about this situation here. Oh, we got down low. Bisexual. This person's on the down low. This is why we've got deception. They may be trying to hide their sexuality. I mean, I feel like maybe this is issues in the home. This is why they got issues where they live. It's like the walls is closing in on this person. Maybe it's being exposed about their sexuality. It's like people, this person don't have much respect in the community, I feel. Much less their home. They may be losing respect amongst their friends, community. Yeah, it looks like they're being challenged here. They're trying to hide their sexuality. Maybe this person wants to be with someone from the opposite sex just to put on the front. Yeah, we've we got your life, you're my lifesaver. Yeah, this person wants you to save them. They need help. This person needs help. This is what it is. Yeah, so deep down, this is their motive, this is their agenda. Oh, prison. For some of you, this person could be facing prison. They could be on the run. I slept with your friend, your family member. Yeah, this person stabbed you in the back. This is a snake. Talk about you behind your back. Yeah, they'll be backstabbing you. Police is watching, investigation. Yeah, you need to be weary about this person here. I really feel like this is a test that you need to pass this test and release this person and keep it moving. This person's return is not going to bring you much joy. So you really need to let go and let God. So thank you for watching. Much love and light.